oh man, Peyton's in her guest aka wedding room and she's wearing the white sweater. So we know what that means. <laughs> Wedding planning episode three, folks. I'm just realizing you can see the wrappers on that nightstand. Ignore that. <laughs> um, but basically, hello everybody. My name is Peyton and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not, I like my brain. Works too fast that my mouth can't keep up. Oh, I thought that was my hair. It's just the light. <laughs> We're off to a great start, folks. Hello, everybody. My name is Peyton, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know, I am an October 2024 bride and a dental student. So I film content focused around wedding planning, lifestyle, a lot of vlogs, dental school, all sorts of things. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram, so I will put those right here if you would like to follow me there. And yeah. This one is a little bit different than wedding planning episode two or one. Wedding planning episode one was kind of like this a, a little bit, but it was more condensed. Wedding episode two was just one day doing a ton of projects. This one is the compilation of a month of clips. And so I got my phone. We are going to go through the list of everything that I have done this month-ish. Um, all the things will have little dates on them and I've already like I had to go through and edit all the clips and then come back and film this sit down portion because I was like girl I don't know how to or I don't know how to organize this stuff. <laughs> so first off what we marked off our list in the last week so that's what this is titled. We have bought a lot of stuff. We bought our reserved signs. We bought our card box reception lights. Oh, yeah, it's like lights. No, we bought um, glow up lights to have on the dance floor and sunglasses that people can wear. Let me grab them, they're right here, they're so cute. I know you'll see them in the video, but like, tell me these aren't the cutest thing you've ever seen. And on the back it says, thanks for celebrating with us. So people can take the lights home and the sunglasses home and then whatever's left over, I will just resell afterwards. But we literally have organized our wedding where the second eight o'clock happens open dance floor from eight until i want to say like 11 or midnight i can't remember i know we get the venue for no it's till 11. i remember because we would have had to have our ceremony at five if we wanted to do and i was like i want to do a four o'clock 4 30. <laughs> So we did all that, we got sunglasses, we got our bar signs figured out, we did our um, all the pieces for the seating chart so that I can do those later. We're doing something kind of fun which I explained in the clip. So I think now we're going to cut to all the clips of the haul. I just got like four of my little wedding purchases in. So the first one, I think I might've showed you already, but I ordered another set of six for the groomsmen boutonnieres. Um, we only really needed three, but it was either like buy two for the price of six, like buy four for the price of six because it had to buy two two packs, but these aren't coming out. So, um, and then I ordered some more, which the box can't destroy, but more of our little um, table numbers. I'm pissed though, because these ones don't come with this like brown wrapping. That I'm like struggling to get off the other ones. Okay, and then the next one. I am so excited about this. I like haven't looked at it yet. Oh my god. You're kidding. Go Maluki, that's you. So we got our bar sign made for our signature drinks. I'm making the other one, but oh. So we have, which this, oh my God, this is going to be like perfect. Okay. So we have Charles's, which his is a classic Manhattan with bourbon, vermouth, and bitters. Mine is vodka, water, and a special twist, which we will get to in a moment with this. 
And then we have the gomer, which is our mocktail. And so it's Sprite and Grenadine for a gomi temple. So I got this from Ruby and Lib Design Studios on Etsy. I highly recommend them. They like had such a quick turnaround. It was phenomenal. Oh my God, you're kidding me. This is so good. And then from Party City, which was just like the first place I found that had something I liked. The, um, oh my God, this is so poorly packaged. Thank God it was nothing. I have these that we're going to put the crystal light into. So it's going to be like this, and then we'll have the other one. I was thinking it would be a lot rounder, so I'm glad I grabbed three of these because I'm going to have two filled like already, and then I'm going to have three like pre-filled, and then the rest of them I will like just have in boxes because my signature drink, if you don't know, is vodka and then pink lemonade crystal light. So I'm going to have the, the bartender literally just put vodka and water in people's drinks and then they can grab a pink lemonade crystal light packet and blend mix it themselves which you know some people might call like not classy enough for wedding i think it's plenty classy so but those are my four little uh wedding purchases um that have showed up so yeah it's gonna be so freaking cute Next package in this little haul is here. This one is our card box. You know, I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't really want to make this a DIY project, especially when this one was like $8. So it's like, I don't think I could have bought anything or made anything myself that was gonna be cheaper than $8, but still this easy. So that's kind of how I've been uh, deciding whether or not I'm going to do these DIY projects. Oh my gosh. It's just based off of like, is it something I'm going to enjoy doing? Or is it going to be cheaper or easier to just do it myself kind of thing? And if it doesn't say yes to any of those categories, then we're just buying it because we are both too busy to do projects unnecessarily. So apparently this is from the brand Professional Party Supplier. I got it on Timu, which I mean, Verdict is still out on if I like that company or not, but it was exactly what I was looking for and super chill so this is what it looks like and it has a little lock which i think is is nice oh i did not realize it was a diy project interesting looks like we have to put it together um which i, I expected that part but i was not expecting to have to like put the labels and everything on. I guess that's why it's so cheap. Let me see. How cute it looks. Um, and then the cute little keys that go with it. Grandma Bev specifically requested that we have one that locks um, and unlocks. Look at that. You know, our wedding guests are real, uh, real into theft these days. Yeah. All right, but it was so cute. And like we said, way easier than making it ourselves. Gomer, we're about to have more boxes to put stuff in. Isn't that so exciting? These are the two bases. So it goes like this and this. I don't know if I clarified. Um, first of all, Peyton, in case you haven't figured it out, this is for the wedding planning episode three. Okay, but so the second to last item for this major unboxing finally arrived. I decided rather than like doing it all at once, I'm just going to do it as things arrive because then I can like, you know, keep organizing stuff. We decided based off of this TikTok that what we're going to do for our seating chart is little personalized notes. 
Oh, thank you so much for your help. What would I do without you? What would I, what could I do without your help? I'm gonna let him perch for a little bit. But we got these cute little stands and then those cards I unboxed. And so we need to put these stands together just to see what they look like. And then eventually we're gonna spray paint them white. This is what we have. Ooh. It's pretty damn cute. It's gonna go up on the tables and then the like vision is I'm gonna make a little thing to go over this top part. That's gonna have like A through K and then on the actual spots, I'll put breakdowns of letters too. our first cake testing I think we're going to do another one with a different bakery just to double check but we wanted to do our first one at home and it was really sweet the way we got to do it basically um, the since we live in Lincoln but we're getting married in Omaha which is 45 minutes away we weren't able to pick up the cake in the time that they gave us but my grandma was so sweet and she picked it up for us and then my best friend her little sister my little sister who are also in the same grade. Um, if you haven't watched those two brunettes, you can meet them. That's a podcast I have with my best friend, Emily. And then my grandma and then Charles and I, we all took the four slices of cake because basically they did like a cake tasting box, which, box, which I've never seen before. But they basically take their four most popular flavors, they put them into a box and then you just pick them up and try them on your own. And then if you decide to go with them, that way there's like no pressure to enjoy what they're serving you. So what we did is we each tried the cakes and then we blind ranked them. And then we had uh, my friend tally them up and then we had like a grand reveal of who won cake wise and who lost. But Charles and I, we liked them. They were really good, but we just kind of want to try a few more before we decide to move forward and put the deposit down and start the design process with somebody. Then we also organized all the decor for our centerpieces. We still have a couple things we still have to get, but I'm going to put up a photo right here and it all is coming together. We put them in these little cute boxes. That way we can really speed up the process of setting up for reception. And then the last little set of updates before I show you my to-do list for the next couple of months so you have an idea of what to look forward to. We have just some things that we've booked that I wanted to tell you guys about because we are currently, yeah, so we're between eight and seven months right now, closer to seven months, obviously. So we have booked the Airbnb for both my bachelorette and my weekend of for the bridal suite um, because we're having a makeup artist and the venue has space for you to get ready but also I have eight people as bridesmaids or in my bridal party I should say because I do have a bridesman so that with flower girls if they want to come plus I invited the moms to get ready with us I was like let's just get an Airbnb <laughs> and that way the makeup artist can just come there it's like a one minute drive to the venue seven minute walk so that way my girls and guy are all covered for the entire weekend. They don't have to pay for um, Friday or Saturday to stay. They can be there for the whole weekend and I'm taking care of it. And you know, that way they can get home safely. They can like walk home. Um, so that's what all of my uh, bridal party is doing except for uh, my girl who is married. I was like, that is, <laughs> I texted her individually and I was like, no pressure if you wanna spend a night in a hotel with your husband, I will not be mad. I was like, you can just hang out with us during the time. And since he's coming up for the wedding too, I, she was like, we'll probably do that. Then we also booked Charles's hotel room. 
which will, after the wedding night, turn into my hotel room. Um, we talked about if we wanted to do the whole sleep apart and then not see each other on the wedding day until our first look. And in the end of the day, we were like, I just, I feel like it would be fun. Give you like that real like nervous jitters almost. Not that I won't be nervous regardless, but you know, we're like, we live together already. We, we spend every night together. Like let's have this one fun night. I think in the Airbnb, I'm sharing a room with my younger sister and my younger cousin. And so it's gonna be just like old times when we used to have sleepovers in my room and like, I don't know, it just felt like a very full circle moment and I really wanted to embrace that. And just like have that experience of waking up at 5 a.m. with the girls and just like all the, all that energy I feel like will be good. So at the hotel that's right near our venue, um, we booked the Midtown Suite. So there's the Presidential Suite and then there's the Midtown Suite. And that's what we booked for Charles, which then will turn into me, because it has a acid seated air, <laughs> seating area. <laughs> um, and basically we figured that would be great because we are going to book rooms for the groomsmen. We are just waiting to see who brings plus ones and how many people would actually want to utilize that before we book because obviously we don't want to spend more money if we don't have to but we are offering to provide um hotel rooms for the groomsmen but they'll be your pretty standard like two queens or whatever so we were like well that'll be great because then charles can have this presidential suite and he can have his best man stay there with him and they can do a little sleepover thing and then all the guys can get ready in his room or at least like you know pop in and out of his room in the morning while he has all his nervous energy before they come to the venue. Also, like I said, my bachelorette trip is all booked. Um, we will be going to Scottsdale sometime this summer. I don't want to give the details like too far out. That seems a little, um, little much, but I will be doing my best to record it. I think I'm going to enlist the help of some of my girls so I can just document it. Um, so... We did that and it's gonna be so fun. I've already started to look at like outfits and this is the other really exciting thing we booked. We booked our honeymoon and we were kind of deciding what we wanted to do because we can't do it right after the wedding because we're both in school and we wanted to get married in the fall and just all the things. So because of that, we have to get married, we have to get married go back to school and then over winter break is when we're doing our honeymoon, which I kind of like because then we get to like decompress and just really enjoy the honeymoon for what it is. Um, and like not, I don't know, not be tired from the way, I don't know, both ways are fun, but this way is just what works best for us. And we booked a cruise that's going through Mexico and Honduras. We really didn't want to have to plan anything else. So a cruise seemed like a good option because everything's booked for you, you can book everything else through them. So I was like, perfect. I have spent so much time planning this wedding that this honeymoon, I want to show up and do nothing. I want to drink and be merry and have a grand old time. And then we'll be back right in time for the holidays. So I'm really excited about that. Now that you've seen that, you can see that I have this fun thing here. Ignore the fact that I'm wearing a uh, not cute <laughs> shorts with my sweater. It's a YouTube video. Of course I can do that. So these are all the categories of things I still have left to do. I made this in a TikTok. I will link that down below. Or I guess I'll link my actual TikTok account down below. And then you can go check it out. But obviously very fun. So this has vendors. And I have to meet with the officiant, meet with DJ, meet with coordinator schedule makeup trial and then schedule hair trials order florals wedding cake and then do the catering tasting slash menu decision we have gifts these are made of uh bridesmaids flower girls mother bride mother of groom father of bride father of groom groomsman day of gifts and then charles and i decided that as our gifts to each other we are going to do um uh, like perfume and cologne for the day of which we actually when we go on our uh, spring break trip tomorrow are doing a private like scent deciding thing at this fancy place in Scottsdale 
and you basically tell them about your venue you tell them about like the flavors you the flavors scents you like and then they help you craft a scent that then you can order and engrave the bottle with the date so that'll be our special like date night scent so that will be our gift for each other we just have to finish doing it and then this is grooms to do so that is pick out tux figure out watch and jewelry wedding shoes figure out haircut plan his bachelor's and book the groomsman hotel down here at the bottom we have my to-do list for things that are like just for me we have reception shoes ceremony shoes veil alterations i need to get my ring polished wedding band and jewelry charles has decided that he wants to just keep his engagement ring as his wedding band until further notice so we're rolling with that then we have to buy invitations guest book bathroom baskets vow books our newspapers crystal light and then there's the cologne and perfume so we get a little two for one action like i said we marked a lot off of this list to do organized decor i don't want to take that off until everything's organized so that will be on there for a while even though i've started the process crystal light bins sunday brunch sign make dj list make my photo shot list aisle decor slash the arch menus happy tear tissues, marriage license, ceremony script, write vows. I did that. This is so fun because there's some things I've forgotten to take off. I was watching Jane the Virgin and randomly got inspiration to write my vows, so now I just have to edit them as I decide. Um, table numbers I need to finish, rehearsal dinner sign, finish my wedding binder, I need to make and send invites, seating chart and then cocktail napkins moved from to buy to a to-do thing because they came now i have to embroider emboss all of them in terms of to book we have hair coloring and cutting dermaplaning facials i'm going to do a facial in may july and september just because I, I don't really want to go every month but i do want to do them consistently i need to get a spray tan final nail nail appointment or my nail trials need to book desserts wedding cake and honeymoon can come off payments these are just like all the little things that um we're making payments on now so once they're gone i will be able to mark them off so like the photographer the company we're using for a lot of our vendors uh videographer day of tips the makeup artist honeymoon bachelor trip and bachelorette trip then we have honeymoon so these are outfits the yellows for uh, me charles is in that like green color so he has like honeymoon outfits he wants sunday brunch rehearsal dinner and wedding shower i have bridal shower my wedding shower i got i need to try it on so i probably honestly should leave it on there until i decide that that's what i want to wear but i did get something for him bachelorette trip that'll be multiple outfits Rehearsal dinner, Sunday brunch, and honeymoon. So I know what I'm going to get for some of these, but it's just a matter of actually doing it. <laughs> that is what I have done the past month. Um, I am just getting really, really excited. It feels crazy that this is where we're at in the planning process. I feel like we just started planning, but also at the same time, I just can't wait for it to be here because... That, and that means that I get to marry the love of my life. So yeah, I'm just really excited and I'm so happy that I get to take you guys along on this journey with me because it's been really cool to share it with you guys. And for a lot of my uh, long distance friends or friends I don't see that much, especially like, hi Emma, because <laughs> she always watches these. Um, hopefully it doesn't take you 10 months to catch the hello and shout out. Okay guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, let me know down, let me know down below if you have any other wedding related content you want to see or content in general and I will see you guys for the next video. Bye guys.